Okay guys, today the Ranger 900 project is getting a set of doors. I am going to be using the, the ProFit power window doors that I had for the 6x6, Ranger 6x6 project I was working on. So we're going to use those doors. I ain't got to buy anything. They're going to fit right on here. They're made for the 900. They're really nice doors. I had them on my 16. So, um, I guess I'm going to start tearing this thing apart. I am not going to do a step-by-step -step on this. Uh, Polaris has a really good video on installing doors on a Ranger. So, I'm just going to link that video. So, if you want to see that, um, you can watch that. Because they have a really good video. Uh, you got to pull your, your pillars off here. And actually, with the door kit, you get a seal kit. Then you got to take off fenders and everything. I'm probably not going to do the seal kit yet. Uh, I have some plans to pull the fenders off, so I think I'll do it then and the dash. So I'm just going to get the doors on here. That's all we need. I think it's going to be 40 degrees or whatever for the next few days. So um, all I need really is doors and I'll be comfortable in the cab. But uh, this is just kind of a documentation of the project and another mod that's going on here. So I'm going to get to doing that. I may come in here and there during the door install maybe and uh, show you a few things. But um, hopefully by the end of the day here I will have a full cab and uh, power window doors on this thing. Okay, so I got my hinges installed on the Ranger. Uh, basically, you had to pull this piece off, uh, bolt it on, trim a little bit so this will fit on. You got to trim a, a notch into the plastic, and then you put the panel back on. Um, pretty basic. This one up here just bolts on. They supply. Uh, a deal for the back here so you can these bolt on and I don't have this one tight because I don't think you have to tighten that down yet I gotta get the doors on but I got my older Ranger here I'm gonna rob the doors off this thing hate doing it because I put a lot of work into into this thing but um, it is what it is guys uh, I gotta unplug them and then I got to swap a few things uh, I'm going to have to swap the wiring out. i um, also going to have to swap out the... I need the, the strikers, so I'll have to get them off this one. And uh, we'll go from there, I guess. Well, and there we go. Got them swapped over. They are fitting really good on this Ranger. Hardly any adjustments from uh, the old one. I had to move the striker a little bit, but oddly enough, they fit the same, which is which is weird. Um, got the latch on. I don't have the limiting strap installed, and I don't have the wiring installed. But they're fitting real good, really good actually. I think better than my 16 they're fitting, but... I like it guys. I got to uh, probably take a break. I'm going to get the wiring out of this one. And we'll start installing it in this one. Okay, so I actually got everything wired up and the doors are working or the windows are working. I had to tear this thing apart. I had my other one apart so many times, so it's really no no problem. It just takes a little bit of time. But up under here, 
on these 13s, it's a little different than my 16. All they have up here is a switched power source. And they got this little bus bar, but there's nothing going to this bus bar. They don't have um, a negative and they don't have a positive from the battery, which they did on my 16. They don't on this. Um, they do recommend you ground the wire. Apparently this is a good ground for the chassis. So this is where I run my ground on the mount there. And then both power wires go to this terminal here, which this wire right here is switched power, like I just said. So with that connected, they, uh, they get power. Um, I, uh, the directions are kind of odd, players, on these where to run the wires. So I just run my switch wires through here, through this grommet. And I run the rest of them down through here, uh, down there. Uh, went, you ain't gonna be able to see it, but there's enough room, there's quite a bit of room under there. You go down under there, and you can come out right here, which is underneath the cover for the hump, which has your coolant lines and a bunch of wires and brake lines and stuff. Run it through there, into here, into the battery compartment, I call it. Now, this is where you're gonna have a bulk of your wire just kind of zip tied it out of the way. Uh, they do want you to ground right here where the solenoid, starter solenoid I believe that is, is sitting. So you ground two more wires there. Uh, I had to increase the size of this hole. I run my wires through there. That's what I did with my 16. Should be out of the way of the seat and everything. Uh, same with over there. Had to, had to run the wire. The longer wire goes to the driver's side. Uh, if you're kind of confused on that, I know uh, when I was installing my first set of doors, I was confused with that. But the longer wire goes to the driver's side, and it goes atop of the gas tank through there. Made another hole right there. I had to make it bigger. It's a drain hole. Run my wires up behind the seats there. Here they are, both sides, just like that. And the wires, or the switches they go into this middle pod well actually you could put them anywhere but i put them in this middle pod i put my passenger side one way over here driver's side way over here so the passenger you know can run their own window then i move my other stuff in the center that's just the way i like to run it some people like them side by side i like it like this i did have to make a hole I had to cut one of these out they do have an extra one open for you but i had to cut a hole in this to get the switch way over here. Uh, perfect tool to do that. Again, I've said this before, is one of those Dremels with, uh, they call it the trim bit. And that really cuts the plastic really nice on this. And um, yeah, that's it's about it, guys. I've got this thing all tore apart, so I'm gonna take it outside and I'm gonna rinse it out real good, the floorboards and everywhere that I've opened up. Um, it's pretty dirty. Uh, I don't. This thing don't have a ton of miles on it, but I believe it was at a farm. So I'm gonna clean this all out. I'm gonna clean in the, in the dash and everything, because once I get my heater kit in here, see how dirty it is. I won't be able to clean in there again. So also looks like there might have been a raccoon or something that was trying to go up under the dash. I see tracks. So we're gonna clean everything out, spray it down with some cleaner and just rinse the whole thing out one final time before I button this up. Well, I guess that's a wrap on this one, guys. Got everything installed. Windows are working. Range is a mess now because uh, it's around 40 degrees out there. Everything's melting. It's muddy and it's just a mess. But went for a test drive. Everything's doing okay. Uh, clutch seems to be a little bit uh, jerky, and I don't know if maybe someone might have slipped the belt on this thing or not. 
Uh, it's been a while since I had mine. I think mine might have done that. Uh, a lot of people leave these things in, in high and low range and stuff while it idles, and that's really hard on the belt. So someone might have done that. I, 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 I might look into getting a new belt for this thing. But other than that, it feels really good. So I got a full cab on this thing. It's about uh, three days since I've got it. I think it took me six, seven months to get a uh, full cab on my, my 16, so pretty happy guys with, with this. Uh, I got the heater on order, it should be here next week I think. Uh, oh yeah, I got my, uh, got my toolbox on already for the back, so that's nice. Uh, these tires are pretty pretty wimpy guys. I don't know. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to handle them on there, but right now my priority is uh, full cab, which I got, and now the heater, so I'll get that uh, in and we'll go from there, I guess. So I guess guys, that's going to do it for this one. I'll see you.